You don't want to scare the forest Pokémon, do you? I surround myself with nature by living like a forest Pokémon. Mm. If I tell you, will you understand? It's my pure heart, that's what it is. I draw, I design, pictures, clothes. Honestly, I'm a super talented artist. A true genius who's stuck in a slum, of course. So I figured I might get some real inspiration if I lived out here among the forest Pokémon. That's it! A pure heart makes for profound art! I've talked enough about me, so what are you doing in a place like this? Have no fear! I can guide you out of here. But since you are here, why don't you enjoy living in the forest for a while? It's useless to go there now. After all, the Castilla Gym Leader Berg just happens to be me. I'm not just any bug type trainer. I'm an artistic trainer. Pokemon trainers traveling together and expanding horizons. Hmm. Ah, yes, to remember those brilliant days of long ago that will never return. Youth, innocence with a pure heart. That's it. Eureka! Hmm. My artistic inspiration came and went. And here I thought I had it! Safely in the palm of my artistic hand. I guess you could say it depends on the person. When you live in the forest surrounded by nature in its most primitive form, your dulled and long-forgotten senses come alive. You realize how beautiful nature is, and you become one with the forest. Old things become new and fresh. It's just one of the many discoveries I've made while living and spending time here in the forest. It's very important for a trainer to get to know a Pokemon before they attempt to catch it. How would you all like to join me? Wait! Uh -huh. Poison Point is Venipede's ability. Be careful or you could be poisoned. There's nothing better than lots of greenery for a bug-type Pokemon lover. And it's this type of natural and beautiful environment that gives me inspiration. Huh? Where'd Zorua go? Huh? Zorua, come back! Go, go. Uh, guess we cancel shooting today. We're shooting a movie, and that Zorua just happens to be our lead actress. You see, my Zorua's a girl. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Luke. See, my dream is to become a big-time movie director. And this is my assistant, Golette. We were right in the middle of shooting a scene, when suddenly... And cut! The pirate's up next. Go for it, Zorua. Great! For the dueling scene, the pirate will stand right over here, and the knight stands over there. Okay, transform into the knight. Huh? Zorua? You're a Zorua? You look exactly like the lead actress from my favorite movie. Does that mean you like movies as much as I do? Hmm. Just so happens, I like making them too. But how do I make a movie with only one character? Okay, let's make the best movie the world's ever seen! All that's left is the final scene. Uh. The script's done! Yay! Okay, here's the plot line in a nutshell. It's called The Legend of the Pokémon Knight. One day, the Kingdom of Palette's beautiful Princess Yuria is kidnapped by Captain Silen the Pirate because she alone holds the secret to finding the Kingdom's treasure. Meanwhile, Sir Ash, a Pokémon Knight, vows to rescue the princess and journeys to meet legendary Dragon Master Iris, overcoming many obstacles along the way. Finally, Ash, along with his partner Pikachu, defeats Captain Silent and rescues Princess Yuria. Now, let's hit the set. I'm standing here at the Nimbasa Town Battle Tournament, where a steady stream of accomplished competitors are arriving here on the scene, one by one. I'm making a documentary of the battle tournament. A cinematic masterpiece! Go, Say, go, may I interview you? Go. You want to trade? Get ready! It's time to show everyone the true power of the Fire Warriors! Stembor, use Hammer Arm! Now Heat More, Flame Burst, do it! You promised I could have whatever Pokémon I wanted. You didn't think I'd battle with you for free, did you? Now let me see all your Pokémon. Lay off! This has nothing to do with you, so butt out. All right, what do you clowns want now? <laughs> Lucky for you, this guy gave you a break. I do what I want, thank you. It just felt right at the time. Who is this, Yo-Yo? You've got this all wrong. I left Tepig there for its own good. Yeah, I realize it doesn't sound right, but I'm telling you the truth. Forcing a weak Pokémon into battle is crueler by far. Once I had finally discovered that this Pokémon had no talent for battle, I knew it'd be happier set free. Truth is, I set Tepig free, but it followed me anyway. 
I told you I can't use a Pokemon who can't battle. Sure, if it's a double battle, I accept. That is, if you think your unevolved Tepig can possibly beat my awesome Fire Warriors. You're living in a dream. I'll admit you've done a good job raising it, but that all by itself isn't enough to make it to the top. You have to take everything your opponent gives you and smash them down even harder. Anything less is a third-rate Pokemon battle. Yo, 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 a Pokedex in my face, not cool, bro. <laughs> Yo, yo, you're not from around here, yo. It's a real pain to explain, yo. Come with us and check it out for yourself, yo. Warm up? I wouldn't be too sure about that. It may be tougher than you think. I'm Nico, and my partner is Fletchinder. I already have a Battle Chateau title. My brother's gotten really good at battling, so I figured it's time for his debut. I brought my brother along with me today. He'd like to have his debut battle. Oh, yeah, that guy's name is Grant. He's always climbing walls. Any barons here who would be willing to accept a battle challenge from me? My name is Chapman. I'm a scientist researching environments where people and Pokémon can live together happily. You see, once upon a time, this beautiful forest was nature at its finest, filled with many wild Pokémon. But one day, the forest began to dry up and wither. I did my best to figure out the reason why, but my work was unfortunately cut short by an unexpected illness. I was able to construct Robon to help the forest regrow, but I'm afraid I won't be around to see it come to fruition. The forest is now dried up. Neither people nor Pokémon can live here. Its only remaining hope is with my robot, Robon, and Chestnut. If they somehow encounter difficulties, I would like you to help them. I ask this of whoever is watching this as my final request. Huh. Well done! I praise you both, young man's Pikachu and Meowth from Team Rocket. I said it's trying to catch me! I have no idea. But one thing is for certain, something unsavory is about to occur. What I want is to be taken back home! Listen, my power has not yet returned. If it does, the Order of Kalos will be thrown into disarray! Danger. Extreme. Exercise caution. Humans. Contact them. No more. Not necessarily. I want to observe what humans are truly like. Do not support humans. Humans destroy order. They are destructive. The collapse of Kalos is in progress. I do not share your views. I will not honor your request. If you will not listen to me, I will use force! Ignorant fool! That is enough! Now wake up! Bonnie, I only did what you have done for me all along. It is I who should thank you. I'm so grateful, Bonnie, to have journeyed with you and to have learned about humans from you. I am grateful. The vines that reappeared, their roots have burrowed themselves deep into the ground and they emerge by absorbing negative energy. What we destroyed was merely on the surface. The scars from the incident that nearly destroyed the world are deep. The two of us are destroying the roots that are scattered throughout Kalos, one by one. However, it's difficult for even me to pinpoint their exact locations. Yet, Greninja, it seems that you are somehow able to locate them. Stopping our bikes the way you did was not the smartest of moves. Team Skull doesn't like anyone getting in our way. Well, listen to the big talker. If you can beat us in a Pokemon battle, maybe we'll let you walk away. Ha! Huh? We'll see about that. Come on out, Salandit! Now, Salandit! Show him your strength with Venno Shot! Quick, Salandit! Use Flame Burst! Excuse me, but this open house is open to the public. <laughs> this is awesome! You're asking for a fight! Whatever! We can't back down now! Alright! Today's the day we beat you for sure! What do you think? We're gonna make them dance! Right at the entrance of Team Skull Paradise, also known as Skulladice! Ah! Big Sis! Hey, you've got it all wrong! We wanted to make the Oracorio dance at Skeletice! Yo, 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 wait, wait, wait! 
Are you saying you don't trust me? I'm in charge. I'm doing you the favor of being your guide because you can't read a map. Yo, yo! Being Pokemon League champion is worthless! Uh, yeah, break it down, yo! You're still here? Go away! <laughs> what are you worked up about? Yeah, originally I was. I ditched the weakling. There are Charmander like that one all over the place. But then, it just kept following me. So I told it to wait here. So what's the problem? Only a Pokemon's strength matters. If it's gonna survive, it better grow stronger. Nah. And what do you get for that work anyway? You're too soft. The only thing friendship does is make a Pokemon weak. <sighs> My name is Cross. I'm gonna become the greatest trainer ever. Heard a rumor. You started working with that useless Charmander. It actually evolved? It doesn't matter. A weakling is still a weakling. <laughs> All right, my strong fire-type Pokemon, Incineroar! Tar! Now come at me. Incineroar, let's do it. And we'll use Flamethrower too. Use Fire Fang! Use Throat Chop! Let's wrap it up. Use Cross Chop! You're too soft. <gasps> You battled using cheap friendship and called moves your Pokémon couldn't use, so you lost. You're the worst trainer I've ever seen, and you'll never win! Gengar! Psychic! You say that you know that young boy trainer, and you call yourselves Team Rocket. I'll need more information. If they're headed somewhere, it's probably Nabal Plateau. Yes. Members of Team Rocket, please go and investigate. Fine. Gengar, mean look. All that I really need is its soul heart. It's gone. Gengar, kindly return Magirna. Kimia, your presence is not required for my plan. Farewell. Use Hyper Beam. Yes, it was all done for the glory of the Kingdom of Azov. My ideal one, of course. Nicola designed a number of gadgets for defending the kingdom. The strongest of them being the wall that presently surrounds it. To stop the fighting, Nicola sealed the fortress so that it wasn't able to move. Sealed in the darkness of history, along with Magirna. 500 years ago, Magirna was not simply the princess's playmate. It had another role. To defend the princess, as well as defend the kingdom. <laughs> How was it done? Using this, its power has been sealed off, but by using Neo Arcade Science, it will finally be reawakened! Still here, Princess? I see. Very well. After 500 years, I know what my fortress's first prey shall be. The Princess! Mewtwo, that is your name. We have given life to you, using the rarest of Pokémon as a basis. Yes. That is the rarest of the world's Pokémon. Mew. Maybe either, or maybe neither. Huh. Your existence is based on Mew, but you were created to be even stronger. In this world, only two things can create life. Nature and human science. <sighs> Creating the most powerful Pokémon in the world. It was our goal and ultimate dream. Our research has produced a device that can make clones of Pokémon. With this, we found great success. It needn't be much. If we can study a Pokémon's tissue, we can make a clone of that Pokémon. However, one clone I made was different from the rest, from the mythical Pokémon Mew found deep in the jungle. We discovered the tiniest of fossils, and from that, I was able to bring forth Mew too, creating the most powerful Pokémon in the world. That was our dream. However... Of course I do! See? The strongest kind! See, now's not a good time. It was just in a giant battle and it's exhausted! Hey, look out! Your ice cream! No problem. But is she... is she up to this? Ah, that's the legendary Pokémon Lugia. Lugia's the reason this city has grown to the size it has. It happened long, long ago. It was a cold day. I had just arrived in town for work. When? Suddenly, I began to see a red glow up on the mountain. It then occurred to me, that red glow was a fire! I screamed, townspeople, listen to me! The fire's coming closer! Run! 
I called for Lugia, hoping for help. And Lugia came and put out that mountain fire. Since then, the town has been living happily ever after. The end! Thank you. It's not lying, it's called dramatic license. Of course, no doubt I will. After all, I'm the best trainer that ever trained. I'll bring down the strongest of the strong and win the trophy to give to Kelly as a present. Huh? Now what's going on? Goldak. You know, you shouldn't lie to yourself. It's habit forming. <laughs>